I'm born and bred in, in Western Australia. Basically did a, uh, a finance degree and then became a chartered accountant. Did a few years in investment banking uh, and then found myself in the mining industry and uh, mainly in, in base and precious metals. Uh, and then over time, I stumbled across this little company called Arafura Resources that was looking for a CFO and about 16 years later, and I'm now managing director of the, of the company. It's been an exciting journey and uh, I've learned uh, a hell of a lot along the way. Arafura is developing the Nolans project, which is a critical mineral or a rare earth deposit in Central Australia. And, and when I first started on this journey, I guess critical minerals were not really well understood. Uh, China dominates and still dominates this market. Uh, and the uses for rare earths in particular um, were not really well known. There, there, there was a range of applications for them. But as time has gone on and, and the world has changed uh, and the world is heading towards net zero by 2050, uh, the criticality of these minerals has certainly changed and, and become the, the forefront of many industries. Uh, for those that don't know is, uh, you know, rare earths in particular, rare earth magnets are the driving force behind high performance magnets, which ultimately go into electric vehicles and, uh, and offshore wind turbines. So, you know, the challenges have really come uh, at the start. It was around the fact that the market didn't really understand the product. The, the market was dominated by one, one supplier globally, uh, and that was China. And, you know, it, uh, it was an unusual commodity. And uh, as I said, operating out of WA or Australia, we're, we're a mining nation. But most of the um, most of the mining that occurs here is is basically bulks where they dig it up and ship it out, whereas this is actually downstream chemical processing. So it's been a, a number of challenges, but it's been a uh, exciting journey. Been in the role of CEO for probably uh, three or four years, and it was a new experience for me. I'd never have really any formal formal coaching. Uh, in terms of um, my career around management and uh, of people. It's just been my life experiences. And, and I guess I found myself at a time where the company was, was struggling to raise capital. Uh, we were struggling to keep the team together. Uh, and I guess my mind was really, really unsettled. And uh, I found it difficult to concentrate, to focus and to remain focused and on, on the big picture. So I guess that's where, where I was at when, uh, when I came across uh, the new Mavericks. This commodity that we uh, operate in is not a standard commodity. And so the challenge has always been for us around, um, firstly, raising capital in order to keep the company um, liquid and, and surviving. Um, but also uh, it comes with its technical challenges because every rare earth deposit around the world is different. And so you have to actually develop your own chemistry, sh uh, chemistry set, your own flow sheet. And, uh, and that obviously requires significant capital as well. So uh, not only did we have uh, financial challenges, we also had uh, commercial and technical challenges. Um, look, we've now locked away our flow sheet. We've advanced our engineering and we're looking forward to 2023 uh, moving into construction at the start of this year, as in the last couple of weeks. We've actually uh, commenced ordering uh, long, long lead equipment uh, and also starting some earthworks on site. So uh, the project has certainly moved, moved forward and moving into full-blown construction by the end of 2023, targeting production in 2025. Uh, uh, financially, the, the company has also been really successful we've taken the company from you know a market cap of uh you know uh, double digit millions in australian dollars and as of today uh, in january we've got a, a market capitalization of over a billion dollars so that's a testament to uh, to the team and uh, and the work that uh, the company has uh, put into this project we also have now got some financial backing from a large um uh, group here in Australia. In fact, it's uh, Hancock Prospecting. Many of your uh, viewers would be familiar with that uh, with that group. It's backed by the Australia's uh, wealthiest uh, person. So uh, we've we've really got some strong backing now, and it's looking good for the company for the future. In terms of me personally, where I sit at the moment, I guess it 
along the way it's come with a lot of challenges a lot of ups and downs um, we've had a lot of success and a lot of not so successful moments and I guess I've gone from a, a position where I was really unsettled I really couldn't focus my mind and and through the techniques that we've worked on uh, with new mavericks and and with uh, meditating it certainly helped um, helped me in terms of settling my mind uh, remaining focused and looking at the big picture and driving the driving the, the business towards that big picture rather than focusing on the little day-to-day -day issues that might uh, might get under our skin. Look, I think the the differences in the way that uh, that you guys sort of approach things is that you bring real day experiences to to the table in terms of applying feelings and a sense of being at one with the I guess the wider universe and, and nature and just these are things that are all common knowledge um, but the way that you describe them and bring them out and 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 teach the lesson I guess is I find extremely useful because it's 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 much more practical than than uh, sort of reading a book on psycho psychology or or something like that it's actually bringing a sense that it's wholeness you know you need to look after yourself your mind your inner peace before you can actually do good on the outside the realization that uh, just because you're right doesn't mean that uh, everybody's going to uh, believe you or, or follow you I think it, it, it's more than just being right. You need to be right and it needs to be truthful. And I think if you can portray those two things, then I think you can really guide the business to where you need it to be and others around you. So I think that's been one of the big takeaways for me.